Hey there, Shuby Doodlers. How are you doing? I have got a new toy. It is called a tour box. I've been sent this to review uh, and I was very happy to do so. And I'm very happy to tell you all about it because this has slightly changed my life. What exactly is it? I'm sitting in front of my Mac here like millions of people do every day, working with Photoshop, Lightroom, all those kind of things. I'm, I do a lot on Photoshop and InDesign. I have a Wacom tablet and a pen. I've tried using one of those on-screen things and I just do not get on with that. So I sit here and I draw with my pen and I change what the pen does with my keyboard. So if I want to change the brush size, I do the, the brackets <laughs> and I have to go backwards and forwards. I have to find the brackets in the first place and then choose one to go bigger, one to go smaller. There are all sorts of other things that I, I do on here. When I press the key, it changes what my brush does. No more. I've now got a tour box. Now I press buttons on here and it changes what is going on. And it, it is just far more intuitive. It's just there and it's got three functions, which is worth it just for that. I've always known that something like this is possible. I've often looked on Amazon and things to see if anybody's making something like this. And here it is. So it's got a scroll wheel. I can make things bigger and smaller. There is a, a rotating wheel it makes the brushes bigger and smaller. And there's a little rotating wheel here, which turns the canvas round and round and round and round. So it just makes life a lot easier for you. Here, let me show you a quick unboxing. We have a Neo Toolbox. Quick start guide, Toolbox safety instructions, two little bags. Not entirely sure why everybody gives you bags for everything these days. So this is a, a, a USB, what is that, B to C. And this is the box inside. It's quite heavy. In fact, I have here some scales. Surprisingly heavy, there's the box. That's 355 grams, so this is what we have. It's got that matte vinyl finish to the whole thing, which is very sexy. There's a button on the side, so I don't know if that's a rocker. That feels like a rocker. There's a wheel. There's a little wheel thing there, and there's a spinny thing there. It's like those fidget cube things we used to get a couple of years ago. Button there. I don't know if that's a rocker. Anyway, so it's a big button. Just trying to feel. So those are kind of thumb buttons, I guess, and then whatever, and time to read the quick start guide. Okay, I've got a very simple illustration here for my new book, How to Draw Halloween Stuff. It's a brain on a plate. So now uh, I'm gonna want to paint this. So I'm gonna click that button here, which will bring up the brush. What size do I want? I just twist this little knob and I can change the size of the brush. And if I want to scroll, I can scroll in and out. I'm gonna be wanting to go in the layer down below and uh, I want to change the color here. And, and I have set <laughs> various buttons to allow me to do that quickly. And, you know, I've only been doing this for two weeks and I reset that number. And for the life of me, I can't remember. And I would normally go in and just check. So I'm just going to go all around the cube. Blah, 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 blah. Press this button and I'm going to go immediately to the erase button which is on a soft round brush so I don't want that it will take me to the hard round brush and, and I can just go and clean up the air. I'm doing this very quickly so, oh, I made a mistake so if I click that that will go straight back that's like a control Z it's a undo the previous action so there we go there, so press these two little buttons undo previous action redo previous action so there we go that's nice and simple maybe i want to do a bit of drawing up there it would be easy if the whole canvas was tilted so whoa look we've got this little rotation button down here and i can rotate the whole canvas which is really nice so yeah maybe i want some like that and some like that and it just makes it easier on the wrist action it's like twisting your piece of paper around and when i want to get it absolutely straight click it and you're back to where you were. It is just so simple. Uh, if I want to duplicate that layer, psh, I've just done that. <laughs> and this is enter, and I've duplicated that layer. It, it's a thing that I use an awful lot. I'm always duplicating layers. Psh, press that button, press enter, and there we are. That's so quick. Now, let me take you to the heads up display. So this is where you control everything. In Photoshop, you can see here the knob uh, will decrease the brush size and deselect when you press it. Scroll will zoom and press makes it fit back on the screen and the dial will rotate the canvas, etc. And all of these things you can change. Say I want to change this button here, which is the, the, the short one. So I'm going to press it 
and, and that will highlight it. At the moment, it's a backspace, so I'm going to click that. And there are all sorts of things that we can go through. So you've got the whole list of commands that you can use here. So if I want to do the levels, for instance, then I go click OK. I come back to Photoshop, click that button, and up come the levels. And there you are. It's as simple as that. And if you're using levels all the time, you can assign it to any one of these buttons or any kind of combination of these buttons. And I'm going to go back and change that. <laughs> immediately to a backspace. So I'm going to press backspace, uh, BS. Uh, okay, and and I'm all set to go. It comes preset for Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere, Edit, etc, etc. I've added InDesign and I'm slowly adding my own kind of things in there. There are some movements I have set on here which have speeded things up incredibly fast. Um, <laughs> I cannot tell you that they're, they're like sort of four four finger button things, which I just now do, do, do. And, and it's just so fast. And my scanner here, it, it's a really, really simple thing that I have put tall short uh, <laughs> carriage return for this button here. My scanner is on the other side of the room. All I have to do is reach over and press that. And I'm scanning. It's 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 changed my life. It really has. <laughs> In InDesign, I have these four four different files here they're exactly the same but in Photoshop uh, they have different layers so I press my tour button here shut those layers off and enter and that gives me the bottom layer uh, I'm going to press the tour button and I'm going to shut those two layers off and the bottom one and that gives me phase two I'm going to press the tour button and then I'm going to want to have layer three open and that's there and this should have been four because I've just been mucking about so that will be up there and press that and that used to take me about five minutes just trying to remember which keystrokes so that has incredibly uh, speeded up what I'm doing on here again I've got the zoom in and out and that's about all I've added to in design so far but just those tiny little things have really speeded things up I've also got the do uh, do and undo the last action thing there as well those are the few things I put on in design, which are speeding things up no end. And I'm sure I'm going to find lots of other ways of using it. You've got a side button here, and this is the scroll button. This is the one that turns the canvas around. It's very simple. Uh, and you can press these as well. And this is the brush, uh, to make it bigger and smaller, and a, a press button there as well. So these are really good for kind of resets. So if you twisted something and you want to go back, you can click reset. Uh, a top button, um, which you can assign to anything you like. Any of these buttons you can assign to anything you like. Combinations of these buttons as well. So you can have a huge amount of control just in this one box. These are the little buttons I use for uh, undo and redo. The tour button is just, that's just one thing on its own. So that's something you might want to use for a function you use an awful lot that you just want to go straight to. Uh, this little keypad here, I've got the um, erase tool, brush, magic wand and lasso tools, which I use all the time. And then here, this is enter and backspace, which is just what I've chosen. You can choose anything you like. Uh, you can also then have uh, press sort of two at the same time, two at the same time to get different um, to get different functions as well. It's very easy to set up, very intuitive. People have sent their own presets up and you can download theirs um, and, and work from there. There's a, a lot to learn and a lot to remember. But if you keep playing at it and do a little bit each day, it will all become very, very natural and speed things up incredibly. And you won't get cramped so much like I used to get really cramped up using the keyboard. I am often asked to review digital products and stuff like this for uh, for you, my viewers. And quite often I say no, <laughs> because I don't quite really believe in them. But this I can wholeheartedly recommend. It, 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 it is fantastic. It has slightly changed my life already. And I think the more I use it, the more it becomes a habit. It's going to just totally change my life. Um, in design, it has speeded up no end. Torbox have set me up with an affiliate account. So if you follow the links on here, you can order one and get your own, get saving time, no time, and I will get a referral fee, which will help me keep the channel going. Thank you very much. They've also given me coupon codes. So look in the description box below 
and you'll be able to get yourself a discount at the same time. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I'd recommend this to anybody who is using a, a, a drawing program or anything where you're kind of doing this all day, Photoshop, Lightroom, all that kind of thing, where you're doing keystrokes. It's going to so speed up your life. There we go. Thanks for watching. And hey, look, click down there and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos. And in the meantime, keep fiddling with your tour box and drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.